Hi, today this video is about combining two tables with different columns in Power BI. For an example, in the source one, in the picture, uh, it has amount, company, max discount and product. There are four columns. And the source two, we have amount, company, and product only. There's no any max discount column. So by using the union function, let's see how we can combine these two tables and create a one data source. So in our table source one, there are four columns. And in the source two, there are three columns. Now we need to combine these two tables and create a one data source. First, let's try by using the union function. Let's say we just try to uh, add these two tables, new table. So we just write the union function, union. So we can say table one is source one, source one and table number two is source two. So it gives an error. Each table argument of union must have same number of columns. So to combine these two tables with the by using the union function, the table the both sources have the same number of columns. Okay, now we try to uh, use union function again, and in in our sources, source one has the most number of columns. So first one we directly use the source one, and then for the second table, so we can use selected column function. So first we need to add a column. Uh, first we need to set the table uh, as for the function here. So we say source two. And uh, first one I will say product. For that column I'll use uh, source two product. And the second column uh, I'll say amount. So for that we can add a source to amount and then uh, in the first one source one there's a max discount column but in the source two there's no only max discount for that we can say max discount so in the expression now you need to write the expression so you can write any expression you want so for that I'll use blank expression so then all the columns we set the source number two, the max discount column, we set it to blank. And then the fourth one, we say company. And then we say uh, source company. Right, so this is the table source one. This is selected column. So this one output another table, right? So here I'll close the brackets. So here, as you see now union function we have source one as the first table source two as a second table so let's see whether this works uh, now the new table is created and if you go to the source window so then here both column uh, in source one and source two are added and all the rows are connected by using the union functions here so the max discount it has set it to blank so thanks for watching. So this is the way that we combine two tables by using the union functions and thanks for watching my video and keep in touch.